If you've ever seen Sex in the City, you probably know that Manolo Blahniks are some of the chicest shoes on the planet. Manolo Blahnik, Mary James. I thought these were an urban shoe myth. Well, two of the guys who helped make Manolo Blahnik what it is today opened a farm kind of down the road from my house in Connecticut. They make some delicious dairy products, and I'm going to help them out today. This is a far cry from the world of sex in the city. How did you guys get into the farming biz? Well, we live across the street for many, many years. It was a horse farm, and it was going to be turned into development. So selfishly, we bought the farm to sort of preserve farmland, which is really what Tony and I are passionate about. We want to keep this farm going for generation after generation. It was called Arethusa Farm 100 years ago. Oh. So we brought it back to the name Arethusa, and then slowly with time developed our herd, starting with five cows. <laughs> And up today, 400 cows. Here comes one of our uh, great oh, well, cows. well, hello there. <gasps> Hi. I've never been this close to a cow. I don't, how are you? <laughs> okay, that's my shoe. Who is this beautiful girl? Well, actually, Clint, we want you to name this young lady. Really? Yeah. Have you ever seen Chicago? Sure. Well, I'd like to name her Velma. Velma. Velma Kelly. Velma that's Kelly. Velma oh. Kelly. And all that jam. Do you want to feed her? There you go, honey. Oh, Velma. Because of the way we take care of our cows and then making sure they get the right nutrition, we start getting this great milk. Well, great cows make great products. So how old is Velma? Four days old. Four days old? I didn't realize they come out this big. Sit. I don't think she knows that yet. All right. <laughs> the cows get rinsed off every day. Oh, are you sure Molly likes this? It's Good. soothing. Wow, she's behaving a lot better than my dog when it comes to getting a bath. I can do this all day. Well, maybe not all day. We have 50 more to walk. <laughs> so. yeah. All right, now that I've met these beautifully cared for cows, I'd love to see how you turn their milk into cheese. That's part right. of the dairy. Let's make some blue cheese. I do know that it involves mold of some kind. Oh, yeah, the mold right here. Oh, this kind of mold. But I, but also, like, it's blue because of mold. Oh, mold. Oh, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. We're milling it because every piece has to be consistent. Keep turning, keep turning. I'm getting cranky from the cranking. <laughs> now we've cranked the curds. Now we're waiting for you to salt the cheese. I, mean, I didn't know I had to salt it. Oops. <laughs> Don't tell me I just ruined this. You're fired. You didn't see that. <laughs> How long does it take for it to turn blue? About four and a half months. Here is oh, everything's a blue cheese. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. This one might be saltier, but normally it tastes like this. <laughs> so now that you tried the blue cheese, something savory, how about something sweet? Out of all the jobs you've given me, I think this one is more in line with my skill set. The all sweetest right. part of the job. Well, cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. I gotta try this all natural pistachio. Oh my God. It is the best pistachio ice cream I've ever Thank had. Thank you ever. very much. I love your products. I love what you're all about. Just making high quality, delicious food in a local environment. So a passion. Right. A passion. I had such a great time on that farm. I gotta tell you, it was so beautifully maintained. The cows were so sweet. Those guys are so nice. And I love knowing that it's all done just down the road from my house in Connecticut, which oh. is fantastic. And this ice this cream, ice cream is so, so good. good. Oh, Isn't it the best it, pistachio ice cream? It's, it's mild, but really, you can taste yeah. the pistachios. It's so creamy. Oh my gosh, they really blew mm. it out of the water.